Hello, this is Minister Debbie Miranda, and I want to share with you some encouraging words that the Lord shared with me early one morning. I'm going to read from Haggai chapter 2, verses 3 through 9. Who is left among you that saw this house in her first glory? And how do you see it now? Is it not in your eyes in comparison of it as nothing? Yet now be strong, O Zerubbabel, said the Lord, and be strong, O Joshua, son of Hosedek, the high priest, and be strong, all ye people of the land, said the Lord, and work, for I am with you, said the Lord of hosts, according to the word that I covenanted with you when ye came out of Egypt. So my spirit remaineth among you, fear ye not. For thus said the Lord of hosts, Yet once, it is a little while, and I will shake the heavens, and the earth, and the sea, and the dry land, and I will shake all nations, and the desires of all nations shall come, and I will fill this house with glory, said the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, said the Lord of hosts. The glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former said the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, said the Lord of hosts. Are you wondering where is the glory? Do you feel that the glory has departed from your home, from your house, from your workplace? Well, the people, they just saw the completion here of a temple. And it took a long time to build this temple. But they compared this temple to the temple of Solomon, and they say that Solomon's temple was greater in all this glory. But the Lord had to encourage them and said, I am still with you. He gave them three promises. He says, my spirit shall remain with you. He said, you know, um, God himself said that he will fulfill his covenant promise because God is a faithful God. He also said, his spirit will remain. And then he said that the latter glory of the house shall be greater than the former. Now, a lot of times we, you know, we compare even our homes. We said, oh my, um, you know, that house is greater than my house or this house or whatever. You know, we compare ourselves. But even if you're saying, wow, you know, this house is even better and greater because of what God is doing than our previous house. If you say that, make sure that you understand that it is not all about the building. It is about the spirit of the Lord where he resides. Where is his glory? His glory is where his spirit resides. And so when we're going through challenges and we feel that, you know, um, the glory has departed or we are, you know, really be, being tested, we said, Lord, where is your glory? If you believe God's promise that he will never leave or forsake you, and where his spirit is, that is his glory, then you will be encouraged because God is with you. We don't always have to feel his glory, but we do have to believe and know his promise and believe his word. The word of God says, God is not a man that he shall lie. And so we have to continue to stand and believe on God's word and know that his glory will be prevailed, will, will prevail and will be revealed. God said the latter glory shall be greater than the former. And so I encourage you to stand and believe on that promise because God is faithful to every promise. I want to invite you to my website, radiantreeproductions.com. And my, my website is... Um, it's an educational website to educate your body, your mind, and your soul. And there's a lot of spiritual um, edification there, all natural products. And so also uh, my book, Standing and Believing on the Promises of God, you will find a link if you want to purchase my book. Um, on my website, you will get an autographed copy. And my book is a devotional prayer book um, of the you know, it's healing of the mind, body, and soul. And so again, I encourage you to visit my website. And most of all, I encourage you to trust 
in the Lord. Trust his word because God never fails. Be blessed.